I'm Cody Johnson with CBH TV. With me here today, once again, is Lacey Stowers with the Ballet Academy of Moses Lake. Um, and I, I've just kind of got some random questions here for you. Uh, <laughs> but, um, you know, not being a, um, a dance professional, so to speak, but um, is it better to stick with something that's kind of in your comfort range as far as you know how they're choreographing this thing or is it do you think it's better that you're being pushed a little bit even if you make a, a mistake you're doing things that are I guess maybe a little more advanced um yeah you always want to see the dancer being pushed a little bit I mean uh, you want to feel like there is a challenge you need to let America know that this is not something that they're used to but not too much to where they, they look really bad they look yeah extremely bad so you really need to um, find that happy balance uh -huh. of what steps to give them that are just hard enough that they can pull it off and not you know either get hurt or look like they're a newbie up there yeah. so it's a challenge do um, you think she's a little bit better adapted? Um, I mean, if you were to take the, the weakness of each, of each couple or individual, mm -hmm. um, it seems to me like she adapts better. I mean, her weakest point isn't as weak as the other people's weakest. Yeah, she's... Um, I guess she's, that's where the years of... That's why they call them a beast. Yeah. On, you know, she's one of the beasts of the girls because it's going to be really hard to find that weak spot because um, she hides it so well. I mean, she covers it to where you can't see it. And it's going to be interesting to see. Um, we haven't seen, we'll say, um, Melanie and Marco yet do uh, any type of a, a real ballroom routine or Bollywood. You know, we haven't yeah. seen them really step away from what they already know or what they are going to expect so it'll be interesting to see some of that i mean we saw a little bit with um jordan and tad when they did their their uh, i believe they did a waltz and they did an amazing job and but there again you know they've really stepped out of their yeah out of their comfort zone and they did a beautiful job they really did so we haven't seen that side yet you know we you know, and as a reminder, Caitlin is just, she just graduated. Um, missed her own graduation uh, not too long ago and had performed uh, back in April in uh, Capilia mm -hmm. uh, while traveling to Las Vegas for tryouts. Yeah, yeah, she, um, and even leading up to her, uh, her, big main audition she had just done uh nutcracker with us so from september leading to december i mean she was learning all of these different routines and 
then right after that she and during that time she also had to get herself ready for this audition taking other special classes you know working one-on-one -on -one with different people and it was crazy because in the middle of all of this her mom really felt bad because she wanted Caitlin to have a senior trip and said I think we're going to take her to Mexico for a week and I said are you nuts <laughs> <laughs> you can't take her for a week she's got to be here <laughs> but um I think everything ended up working out and so she did her audition and she did fantastic so we started working on Coppelia and then she had to leave come back and relearn everything all over again and yeah I mean she's just a it's, rock star it's amazing yeah just absolutely amazing for that and um, can people pick up a copy of your DVD down there too? Yes, absolutely. You can get a copy of Copalia down at the Ballet Academy if you um, give me a call. We can I can meet you down there. They're twenty five dollars a piece, and it's a great show to watch. Yeah, it is. We've only shown you uh, you know short clips, but I've watched most of it. Um, kind of saved the last part because I we're gonna play that this week, but uh, no, it's just incredible. Yeah, it turned out really nice. Yeah, so. even the from the the smallest all the way up to uh, your more experienced dancers, it just was incredible. It, it it must have been terrific to watch it live. It was. It's well, it's hard as a teacher because you're backstage going, oh, <laughs> don't mess up. <laughs> or, oh, I hope her toe is okay. <laughs> so, but. I mean, I've sat in the audience before, and it's it's breathtaking. So yeah. the kids work so hard, and you can tell too. Yeah. So it looks like she's getting a little more comfortable, um, too. It does. In the beginning, she well, I mean, it, if you really know Caitlin, she's always smiling and yeah, great bubbly type personality. But it was hard because if you don't know her and you see her on a camera, you think not that she's being fake, but that she's in front of a camera, so you know you get very excited. Yeah. And so now it's finally looking like she's relaxing and really comfortable in what she's doing, and she's into her, into her groove. You know, she's yeah. she knows what she's doing, which is nice to see because, in all actuality, when you really know her, I mean, it's all genuine, Caitlin. So yeah, she seems that way. She is. She's. I cannot imagine a more perfect person. Really, I mean. It's hard to not love her. I mean, she's, you know. yeah, she's, she's, she's pretty. She got amazing grades. Yeah. You know, it's like, it's hard to find something wrong with that child. <laughs> <laughs> so. So I, does she, did, I can't remember. Does she have brothers, sisters? She's got a brother and she has a half sister. Okay. They probably don't like her very much. <laughs> she, she's a... Actually, no, they, they love her. <laughs> That's why I said, I have a hard time finding anything wrong with that girl. Wow. Even when she was dancing in class, you know, most of the kids you start sweating, you smell bad. She would always smell good. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, how is this possible? I don't get it. Oh, that's funny. So, you know, as a reminder, uh, the show is every Wednesday at eight o'clock. When the show starts, you can vote online at fox.com slash dance. You can vote up to 50 times on the website. And then when Caitlin performs, they'll have a number, a phone number listed and uh, a text uh, number listed. And you can uh, either call or text after the show to vote.